Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Vikings Valhalla. Like clockwork, Hollywood has once again race swapped a European person for absolutely no reason. This time, a historical figure and a Viking leader known as Jarl Hogan, who has been not only race, but gender swapped and betrayed by an actress named Caroline Henderson. Decider featured an article wherein the show's creator, Jeb Stewart, attempted to justify his decision. This is what he had to say. We do know that the Vikings spent a good bit of time by the time of my story going through the Mediterranean, and they spent a lot of time in Egypt. They went into different cultures. They didn't dominate, they didn't conquer. What they did was assimilated, and they brought people in. Oh my gosh. I wanna stop there, because it appears he's relying principally on three points to justify this monstrosity. First, that the Vikings were globetrotters. This part is true. They traveled everywhere their boats could reach, across the Mediterranean and Africa and the Americas. In fact, this was done already. Bajoran Ironside went to Africa, his brother Uba to the Americas. Both encountered other peoples. Diversity. <laughs> his second point is that they intermixed with some of these peoples they encountered. This too is true. Their genetic footprint can be found across the world. But his third point, is that they brought these people back with them and necessarily for purposes of his story that some of them became rulers of Viking communities and that is where I have to ask for receipts because I don't I don't know where he's getting this I am aware of Africans somehow ending up in places as far north as Scotland not necessarily because of Vikings we really aren't sure it simply happens to be something DNA studies have come to support I'm not aware of any Africans of any kind leading Vikings in Europe or for that matter any other people of any kind leading Viking communities in Europe if there were any then my question is this, why not tell their story? Why make up a new character wholly unrelated to them? Or as it appears in this case, why hijack someone else's story instead? As someone who has also studied history, population migration and genetics, I'm often floored by how much people got around, far more than Hollywood portrayals would give them credit, more than most of us can even imagine. And I love, learning new things but this isn't it and we all know why the studio could have done anything else including tell the story of the viking impact on the lands they encountered or what their lives were like in these far off places for those who decided to stay and settle there becoming minorities in these lands assimilating into these other cultures that would have been interesting to see instead they do this and of course as we know by now, they can never simply race swap. It's never just about skin color. That would be one thing. The idea of a Viking man raising his son from whatever woman and that son taking after his father's tendency to conquer and lead, sure, I can just about buy that. But now they also have to make this character once a man, a black woman. And not only is she a black woman, she's quite dark despite being a quarter black. <laughs> she should technically look like Garrett, but <laughs> but that would be that would make too much sense and it would sort of defeat their purpose, right? Of presenting this image of wokeness. And we can't leave out the feminist bit because again, they can't leave well enough alone. So she's not only a woman, a black woman, she's also the bestest ever having established a truce between pagans and Christians, and her city walls are protected not just by soldiers, as would normally be the case, right? <laughs> if we bought into all of this, at the very least, the people guarding the gate would be men. The only thing left, right? That, that, that would be consistent, but no, not here, not now. Her city is guarded by shield maidens. 
So they race swap and gender swap and marry Sue the heck out of her, turning everything about her story into a complete and total mockery of the character, of the actor, of the show, and the audience. And when we complain, you can guarantee we'll be considered the problem. I really wanted to watch this series. I was looking forward to it because I loved Vikings. But now with all of this, I'm over it. I'm not interested at all. And I won't be watching or reviewing their show. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.